we're, uh, we're looking good for flight today. So let's get back into that flight profile, Gary, that you're telling us about here. Again, how are they getting up to space over the Carmen line, the internationally recognized line of space, and then back down here uh, to Earth in West Texas? Okay, so T minus zero is actually not the point of liftoff. It's when we um, send the command to start the engine. It lifts off about seven seconds later. It will ascend um, for about two and a half minutes um, and, and then shut off. Its, we, it goes through what we call MECO, main engine cutoff. About 20 seconds after that, the capsule will separate, and that's when the fastened seatbelt uh, light uh, on their panels will, will turn off, and they'll be able to float around the capsule for three to four minutes. Um, during that time, um, the, the both vehicles are still ascending, and they will ascend above 100 kilometers to Carmen Line. Today, we're, we're headed for about 105, 106 kilometers, um, and, and then start de their descent. Um, the capsule, the, the booster will actually uh, re-enter first. It's, it's more aerodynamic. Um, before it hits the, the atmosphere, it deploys wedge fins on top to stabilize it, um, and then uses those aft fins um, to steer back uh, over the pad. Um, just over the pad, about 20,000 feet above, it deploys drag brakes to slow itself down and then restarts its engines just seconds before hitting the ground to slow itself down to a soft landing. The la landing legs will come out just seconds before landing. It might do one or two uh, maneuvers to make sure that it's over that pad, um, and then it will touch down softly. Meanwhile, the capsule will, will continue its flight. Um, the astronauts will strap back in before um, hitting the atmosphere, get back in their seats. There'll be thrusters that will stabilize the, the capsule just to prevent it from rocking too much, and then parachutes will deploy about 10,000 feet above the ground. First, drogues will fire, and those will extract the mains. And then finally, a landing will occur on a cushion of air, uh, which will fire um, just about six feet off the ground Fantastic. And Eight, seven, six, five, four. Command engine start. Two, one. Ignition. We have lift off. The Shepard cleared the tower. <laughs> and New Shepard has cleared the tower on our way to space with our first human crew. Go, Jeff, go, Mark, go, Wally, go, Oliver. You are going to space. burn on that BE3 engine, liquid hydrogen, and uh, liquid oxygen as the propellant. It's a nice, not just clean in terms of uh, beautifully performing, but what comes out of it, it's steam, right? Whew. To see the, to see the, 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 the glow of the, of the engine underneath the rocket just under our shoulders and to know that we've got a crew that is going to space. It, it, it just feels different, doesn't it, Gary? It is totally different. <laughs> All right, you can follow along, of course, the speedometer in the bottom left, the altimeter in the uh, middle of the screen there. So far appears to be a nominal flight. All right, coming up here on Miko, main engine cutoff. That will be followed shortly by separation. And at that point, after separation, we're going to uh, let the, the astronauts unbuckle and take in the freedoms of zero G. There is Miko, main engine cutoff. A beautiful shot down the New Shepard rocket. Look at that view. Unreal. 
awaiting separation here. And here we are, you can start to see, stand by, you're gonna see the separation of the capsule from the booster itself. Oh, oh, we And there we go. Our astronauts have passed the Karman line at about 328,000 feet, continuing their ascent. You see the two vehicles there. <laughs> When the speed hits zero, you know that they've oh, hit yeah. Hapagee, their maximum Woo! altitude, and you hear they're having <laughs> quite an experience. Okay, I'm gonna start back. Woo-hoo! Okay, I'm gonna start back. Okay, I'm gonna start back. One minute warning. One minute warning. Not Oliver. Astronaut Bezos. for joining us live for our first human flight on New Shepard. So far, a nominal flight. Our booster is about to return to its landing pad. There we see engine relight. The sonic, sonic boom. rocket that provided a beautiful flight to space. <laughs> what, 
First up, your booster has landed. Booster landed, landed. Blue control, base on the stage here about the booster. And there it is, our crew capsule with our our four crew members on board. You have a very happy crew up here, I want you to know. Stand by drogues. Stand by drogues. Stand by main. Stand by main. Oh, so far a nominal flight. Here comes the crew capsule back from space. The drogues deployed. Here are the mains out, reefing and coming to full inflation our, our rocket went over Mach 3 and now they're coming floating back down at just about 15 or 16 miles an hour about to join us home back here in West Texas after having gone over the Carbon Line the internationally recognized line of space the world's newest astronauts Gary how are you holding up friend <laughs> I am I am speechless Wow. And those big, beautiful windows. I've just got about a minute and a half of floating before uh, the activation of the skirt jet to, uh, for, a, for, for a soft touchdown. At this point, um, there are sensors on board that are detecting how high they are above the ground, multiple sensors. And just six feet above the ground, that, that cushion of air will, will puff and they will have a soft touchdown, almost like just sitting in a chair. But I'm sure their adrenaline is pumping. And touchdown. Welcome back, New Shepherd's first human crew. What? What a flight. Welcome back to Earth, first step. Congratulations to all of you. To all of you.